Before anyone asks, yes, I have played Nights in the Dreams for the sake of Saturn. And all I really remember about that game was flying through rings, being attacked by alarm clocks, and being chased by a big green fish-like monster. Well, it's been 11 years later, and Night's Journey of Dreams has finally arrived on the Nintendo Wii. So, what's new this time? Well, let's take a look, let's take a look at the story. The story this time revolves around two children, Will and Helen. This is Helen's story that you're watching. And both children are suffering from events that are, that are occurring in their lives that are haunting them in their dreams. Will is being haunted by the memories of, her, of his dad, about uh, how he used to spend a lot of time and now he is not around much long. Now he's not around as much. And Helen here is uh, being tormented or feeling a lot of guilt about skipping uh, violin practice with her mother to hang out with her friends, and that is being that is integrated with her dreams as well. Both children find sanctuary within their dream, or within a place called Nightopia. But uh, but instead of letting me explain, I think I'll let Mr. Owl explain for my, for yourselves. But now stand at the entrance to what your people would call the world of dreams. The world of dreams? Oh, listen well, young lady. Don't be fooled by that name, world of dreams. I don't mean to imply that the world itself doesn't exist. It is simply... Oh, how should I put it? It is another world. One that you are able to visit only while you are fast asleep. We ourselves refer to it as the Night Dimension. And One thing I like about this game, the characters all have a lot of personality to them. Just listen. Dearest me, you gave me quite a fright. You ought to know better than to startle your elders in such a manner. Hey there. Sorry about the old bird here. I know it's kind of a drag listening to him squawking on and on. Excuse me? A drag? I am simply attempting to welcome this visitor and... My name is Knight. Let me tell you, you'll have a much better time flying around with me than chatting with this old owl. So how about it? Want to dualize with me and try your hand at flying around? Within the game you'll find five different sections within each of the three worlds represented in the children's dreams. Most of the time you'll be flying around as Knight, nice, which is the best part of the game. Now you're not flying in full 3D, you're flying in it's you're flying on a path of 2D, but you're not really limited. There are little areas that you can go out and explore. One thing I do like, or shouldn't notice, is the particle effect. When I first saw the first trailer for this game, I was a little... Uh, I was not impressed with it. But looking at it now, they really improved, and I love the... just the look of it. It brings a whole fantasy feel to it, which is what you should be feeling. And you, you definitely get a lot of that in my favorite level, the last world, where you're flying through the skylight. Beautiful. However, this game does suffer from some of the cheesiest dialogue ever to, re ever to be recorded in a game. I mean, here, just take a listen to one of to this. This alone should convince you how cheesy the dialogue in this game is. I won't let that happen. Meeting you has been the best thing that's ever happened to me, Knights. I can't let you. Will, it's okay. We need to protect your dreams. Knights. It'll be alright. No matter what happens, we'll be friends forever. Isn't that right, Helen? Come on. Let's show him what our courage can do. Of course, none of that can compare or hold a candlestick to what is probably the, the most awkward line ever recorded in an E-rated game. Take a listen. Go over and touch knights. Well, that is, of course, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Don't worry, it's not what it sounds like. It just sounds very funny, yet awkward the way it comes out. The one thing I love about this game, or what I can truly appreciate, is the fact that it's trying to be as innovative as possible within every level. Unfortunately, not all levels can benefit from this. One thing I want to note right here, look at the character animations on the, on the humans themselves. 
They just look so stiff and animatronic. You, you just don't really feel any life form coming from them. Ugh. However, I will say this. Thank God Helen is wearing some pants, because that skirt of her seems to go up and down like an umbrella. As mentioned before, the innovation goes within almost every level, such as right here where you're flying, where you have to look in the background as the, of the mirror to find your path. Or my personal favorite, where you're flying in a sky concert in the air, and hitting those notes at the right time can cause little background singers. Take a listen. You'll be flying as four knights, big knights, but unfortunately not all the innovation is that great, such as the boss fights. Anybody who's played this guy is tormented by them, and anybody who beats him did it the first time by accident. So it is nice to, re to find them by hiding, by exploding the background, though other boss fights like this guy, they just feel very poor. I mean, this guy doesn't even put up a fight, you just keep pushing him forward all the way up. And then, of course, you fight the Simpsons Catwoman, where all you really do here is tilt the boards left and right to send her cats through the holes. Yeah, that's how you beat them. Yikes. Also, the controls in this game, they just don't feel responsive, they just feel incredibly stiff. I, re I still remember the Saturn version did have very smooth handling controls, but this is... it just doesn't look up to it. The gameplay, it's, the game itself is incredibly short and can be beaten easily in one day. And the online mode is definitely an afterthought because there's only three courses! And if you, ha if you go up against somebody who hasn't memorized, you're screwed. You can never catch up to them. There are no items in this game. That isn't to say that this game doesn't have its moments. I like the art direction it has, and the music. Oh, I love this music. Fully orchestrated music. Gotta love it. Had this game just have a little bit more longevity, it would have been great, truly great, but I really can't give it anything more than what it is, and that is, Knight's Journey of Dreams is just a 3 out of 5, a solid rental. Better luck next time, Knights, and until next time.